Yo, welcome back to Genshin Impact. In our last episode, we continued the main quest and also uh, finished off the Sacred Sakura cleansing ritual. And we fell down after we found the grandpa of Isak, and now we're in front of some old ruins. <laughs> so let's talk to everyone. Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh no, he's getting confused again. Can I talk to him? Okay, I can't. Also, these guys, the bad guys, are with us. Okay, I was confused why I could talk to them, but that doesn't really... That doesn't really mean the same thing as talking. And... Uh, Sino? Was it Sino? Is Sino here with us? Uh, someone wanted us to enter the ruin. Mysterious ruins. Oh my god, it's a domain. Let's go! I have every element that I need in my team, so I'm just gonna say it should be okay. Probably not, but we'll see. What's it gonna look like? Oh, looks nicer than I thought. Why is there greenery if we're underground? It's full of life here. Yeah, I didn't expect that. This defies comprehension. It looked completely desolate from the outside, yet it flows with energy inside. But also don't forget what brought us here. It was the power of the Dendro Archon, so of course there's gonna be Dendro stuff in here. Why do I actually feel like we're gonna find Kuzanali inside her little circle thingy down here, inside her barrier? Yeah, and there's so many plants. It's so pretty! Sir Raman. Who? Oh, what, huh? <laughs> Me? I thought you were gonna bring up something old and ancient again that I don't know. <laughs> do you see another Raman here? Are you mocking me? What do you mean, sir? He was actually just being polite, but okay. Interpret it however you want, but there's something I'd like to draw your attention to. While this structure is clearly left over from King Deshret's civilization, the energy that flows in here is that of the Dendro Archon. <laughs> Whatever you say, it's not like I have a vision. There's nothing to be angry about. Think of this as an academic <laughs> journey. Do, sir. Imagine not having a vision. <laughs> it does seem kind of strange. If that's true, then we might have to explore this whole area to find an explanation. Oh, I don't have anything against that. Actually, this was my plan for tonight. <laughs> Proceed deeper within the ruins. Yeah, but let me check out the- Oh my god. That's not where we came from at all. But okay, um... Let me look around here. I mean, it does look pretty nice. And I don't know when- uh, I, Yeah, I can't take pictures because it's a domain. I kind of forgot it's a domain because it's so, like, open area. Kinda reminds me of Enconomia. I don't know how, I don't know why, but like, kind of, with these doors and walls and... Uh... Okay, I couldn't go further here anyway, so I need to check out this room and the other rooms. What are these things? Rotate. Oh, don't tell me I gotta use my brain for this shit! Oh, okay, wait, there's pictures on it. This one has got to be in the middle, I believe. And then... Why am I stuck? Jesus. This one. Oh, wait. Huh? That's not what I wanted to do, but... Okay, if that is correct, then... Uh... What was the other way? Oh, ceremonial guide. Look up at the hall as a mortal and listen to King Dashford's holy guidance. Who is King Dashford? I still don't know. Before I start the quest, I thought that Sino may be King Dashford, but... Well, this is King Dashford, I think. Knock knock, anyone here? Uh, no treasure chests for me in this domain. Activate, elevate. Uh, okay. Um, oh. Hi there. No, wait, I need your drops to not be activated. Why am I- why am I using Electro? 
<laughs> are they dropping anything even? Yeah, Give me. Take are they dropping? They're not dropping anything. Okay, then I can Kami's use whatever. <sighs> good to know, good to know. Be gone. I'll uproot you. Okay, where's the other one? Here. Oh, there's two of them. Lightning flash! Why are they down here? Who allowed you to be here? I'm just complaining to make gameplay because I'm tired, I'm sorry. I mean, of course, our, their enemies are in there. I'm just, <laughs> just tired. It's not even that late, it's literally just like midnight. But it feels like 3 a.m. for me because I've been watching Breaking Bad for like 5 hours. <laughs> So I don't have any sense of time now. I did finish season 3 though, if anyone cares. Oh man. Oh, uh, well, there's the treasure chest. Take flight. Embrace the ice. And some little creatures. Take this. Take this. One with the fuck. Let's light it up. Do I always have Bennett on my team because he's my healer? Yes. Will I ever use Bennett in combat? Everybody no. Stand back. <laughs> uh, at this point, it's not even on purpose anymore. I literally just forget to use him. It's not. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not hating on him anymore. I just occasionally forget that he's there. I'm sorry, Bennett. He is easy to forget about though, just like his friends in his adventure team tend to forget about him probably. I'll uproot you. Hell yeah! Wow. Five primogen. I can't climb. Why can't I not climb? I want to see if there's anything in here. I mean, there won't, but uh, I still want to check. And be for sure that there isn't anything here. Oh, why did I do that? I can't even get there. Can I climb up the tree? Well, oh, total waste of time. Well, whatever. <sighs> now we're going down from this side to get the full experience of these chairs. It's not making any sense, I know. More treasure? Nothing in here? Uh, okay. Oh no. Oh god. Help, I thought I was gonna get stuck for real. Now that would've pissed me off. Should I dare to make a pull on the weapon banner while I'm in here? Oh yeah, they reset the weapon banner. Do I have a pull? I don't have a pull. I'm gonna make one single pull because I think maybe I have luck when I'm in a domain. So tempting to make another one. Did the shop reset? Did I buy it on a Wember shop? Or oh no, I didn't. Okay, wait. Um. I'm waiting for this one though. I also need. To oh my god, I forgot. I need to. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot how wishing in this game works. Apparently. Oh no, not these walls always, they make me dizzy. Oh, no! Treasure chest! Give me... Thank you. Would've pissed me off. <laughs> Hello there. Uh... Investigate. Is there any good to this? What do you want from me? Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, hello there. My wow, everything is blue and purple in here. I like it. Thunderclap. Yeah, yeah. Snow. Get this! Uh, take that. <laughs> uh, activate elevator is what I said, I think, but I didn't read it, because I ran away. Well. Huh. 
What? Oh. Oh. Thank you. Gladly taking this one. That is the elevator. Oh, uh, that's where I came from, right? I saw this from the other side. Nothing in here. Activate elevator. Ah, no. Oh god. Almost, almost crushed me. I gotta be fast? Are you... For real? How am I supposed to do that? Um... Um, what? How am I supposed to... Oh. <laughs> well... <laughs> oh my god, I really thought I was gonna struggle here for 10 minutes trying to figure out how to use the elevator. But it's just that simple. <laughs> okay. Even more mushrooms, really? Is that all you got? No, but thank you for asking. If you know where this reference is from... You're a person of culture. And if you don't... You probably love Mario games, don't you? Always be a side of Sonic. Never not fronting the Mario franchise at this point. I'm just having fun here. Oh man, don't do this to me. What are you, Nintendo gamers? Suck it up. Not talking to, not talking to the audience. Talking to these guys. Oh no! See, every fight goes by faster if you keep thinking about the real enemy here, which is the Mario franchise. Talking about you, Chris Pratt. <laughs> oh, <give me. laughs> what now? Where do I need to go? There's, a, is it? Oh, I thought it was a dead end, but uh, something. After six days infiltrating the temple, I finally understand the priest's parlor tricks. The elevator will descend to the ground. Get on top of it before it starts ascending again to reach the dome. Oh, let me read that again. I gotta use my brain. Mm. The elevator will descend to the ground. Get on top of it before it starts ascending again to reach the dome. Nonsense like forbidden ground I had. Mortals shall not pass or whatever. Or just made up by the priest to hoodwinkers. I leave this method here in hopes that the people of King Dushet who shall travel here in the future shall freely enjoy the privilege of witnessing his sacred presence. Uh, uh, you expect me to make sense of this? Uh... Do I have to struggle with the elevator now? Is that what you're telling me? Um. Okay, there's another one above me and I need to get on this one. Wait. Is there not a button here to... Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, that should be easy. I hope. No, it won't. I'm stuck here. Um, mechanism. How am I supposed to get on this one again? If I yeah, I would need more than Winty to get up there. Um, um, oh shit, man. How do I get up there? How? 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 Do I get up there? I would like to play this in co-op so someone else could do it for me. There's six days in Plutonian time, I found this in a priest politics. The elevator will descend to the ground. Get on top of it before it starts ascending again to reach the dome. The reach to the ground. Get on top of it before it starts ascending to reach the dome. But how do I activate it? How do I activate it? 
<laughs> I'm too stupid for that. Activate elevator. I know I need to jump on this one. It's not that hard, but how do I get back on this one when I... <sighs> I gotta activate the other one first. Literally, how? <laughs> no, no, don't, don't fall down. Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not the one I need to get on. It's the other one. And I was on the other one. Is it really just about being fast? <laughs> Is that it? Is that- what do I need to do here? I can't switch my team, so I'm stuck with this. Uh, kill me! Oh god. Um, wait! Oh, I'm, I, I can't. Uh, I thought I could, like, stay somewhere. So, like. There is one above me. Wait. Now? Oh my god, okay, that's how you do it. Okay. Okay, thank you. I see. Oh, hello. Wow, I'm glad I figured this out by myself. It was not that hard, but sometimes the brain does not... Brain does not know what is going on, and then you are stuck, and before you are stuck, and before you know it, you see yourself opening Google. And then you have betrayed your mighty intelligence, which sometimes actually does exist in some... Amounts. Well, not really, though. I mean, <laughs> last episode just perfectly proves it that I didn't know how these little ritual thingies worked during the whole cleansing Sakura, uh, Sacred Sakura ritual event. And then by the last one, I finally figured it out after hours and hours of trial and error and googling. Not really hours, though, uh, but you know. Why did I die? Ayaka, come back. Help. Oh my god, that was so close. These guys are annoying. I'll uproot you. Can't see. So annoying. I also didn't think I was gonna be in a domain for the whole episode. I mean, interesting and fun gameplay, but I really need to finish the main quest. Which I know I shouldn't rush it, because I actually like to enjoy the Archon quests when they're enjoyable, which they usually are. Then I'm uh, running out of time for the event, and I don't want to press the quick start function, because I don't know if I'm going to skip some scenes from the event then, because... You know, sometimes there are reasons why you're going to finish your other quest first, because it's going to be, like, mentioned in the story or something. But yeah, too many, too many events going on right now. Turn off, start, what? What am I doing? What are these, what are these things here for? I don't know. Huh. Uh. Um. Excuse me. Um. The King Dashford one needs to be in the middle. Did it change again? How do they change? What What are they changing to? Wait. Wait. King Dashford. 
Come on. No, wait. I turned it off. Why is it still doing this? Oh. Where's the button for the middle one then? Or is there just not any? Okay, wait. Let me try again. No, the other one. Give me the green light, Rosie. Turn off. I thought that was it. Was it not? Okay. Then this one is it. It's not symmetrical, so it doesn't make sense in my brain, but... Why do I need to go down again? What? No. No. Or do I? Oh, it's going down deeper, I think. Uh... The music stopped. Okay. Now that's a sight to see. King Desret's splendor surrounds us. There's so much vegetation here. It's different than what I expected. Sure are a lot of plants for a desert. <laughs> that's what I call divine providence of King Desret. But where are we? Okay. Didn't expect this. Um... Uh, I don't want to go in there. Help. That looks shady. That- no, 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 not another loading screen. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> Ermin saw What? <laughs> what? Ermin saw was- the whole time Ermin saw was inside that one suspicious looking pyramid. Why could I not figure this out? Like, it's kind of obvious. It doesn't make sense at all, but it's kind of obvious. Because it's like the, the most suspe suspicious thing on the map, but... Oh my god, the soundtrack. I'm back again. How far can I explore this place? Last time I was here, I kind of passed out, so... um. Let me look around. Okay, great, I can't jump. Does this mean I can drown? Oh, but I can swim. But I can't swim faster. It's getting brighter! Oh, it looks so beautiful! Is that Armansol? Am I tripping? Armansol looked bigger in my imagination when I was here last time. It's not, but it looks like a smaller version of it. But the angle looked about the same. Wait, but Ermin's had like a red sky in the background, I think. Is it? I don't know. Cutscene? Not really. Wait, what's that? It's a statue of you, silly. A load of flowers. And it looks like there's something among them. Looks like a tomb. Oh, the tomb of King Deshrut. It is called a mausoleum, so... These are... King Deshret runes. They left something behind. Hmm. Yes. It's an elegy written in an ancient script. What does it say? Here lies our faithful priest, Kasala. And why does he know how to read it? <laughs> His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. You can read ancient King Deshret script? <laughs> you can read? Of course. <laughs> Every student needs to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Okay, sorry. He's not serious, right? Yeah, he probably is. There's still something off about this place. The elemental energy here is too concentrated. The scent of life. Is it trying to tell us something? Hmm. Is this it? Analyzing. What? Oh, hmm. his his castle thing. Okay. There seems to be a hidden message among these skeletal remains. Excellent. There's a device from King Deshret's civilization in this gravesite. I'll transmit the information over and project it for everyone to see. <laughs> Isn't sharing knowledge against the academia's rules? Yes. However, under the circumstances. I'd prefer you to see this for yourself. You'll understand after watching it. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene.
There's nothing. Oh. <gasps> okay. Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. King Deshret brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. Oh my god, the music. I have a goosebumps. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She looks like Kuzanali. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping King Deshret to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. It is Kuzanha- What? How strange. What? Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death. <gasps> I have Sino? I that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. <laughs> what? Children of the desert. Cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. I literally have tears in my eyes from the surprise. Like, that? no one believes in Cousin Ali. Everyone was like, oh, Lord Rukadavata, the great Lord Rukadavata. It's literally the same person you're telling me? What? I'm so glad I don't have seen... I I'm so glad I haven't seen any spoilers about this. Like, at all. I was just like, I've seen pictures of that one scene that we just saw, uh, which like just leaked uh, a lot Ruka Devata's design. And I was like, oh man, she looks just like Kuzanali. What a shame. I thought she would have like a different design. But they're the same damn person. That explains everything. And that dude is like wearing the same uniform as Sino. So maybe it's like a parallel to the story. What is going on? Literally, what the fuck? The priest's memories. No. No. Imp Possible. You gotta save Kuzanali, definitely. Greater Lord Ruka Devata. So the former Dendro Archon and King Deshret were never enemies at all. Or am I am I misinterpreting the situation? Is 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 it the same person, or is my mind going crazy? But this doesn't make any sense. The Dendro Archon's followers. They're clearly I know you guys are talking about something else. I know, I, I know what the story was about, but... Uh, can we get back to my thing? <laughs> Is it true? Was that... the former Dendro Archon? He became so tiny in the end. Okay, yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm not I'm not losing my mind, guys. <laughs> Cradle Lord Ruka Devata came to the rescue of King Deshrit and his people, but eradicating forbidden knowledge took so much of her power. The two deities' followers have resented each other all this time, completely unaware that their gods stuck by each other through life and death. You might be distrustful of the Akasha, but there's no reason for you to doubt King Deshred's technology. You've just witnessed his priest's last words. I've never heard about any of this before. That makes most of the people, probably. The surviving followers of King Deshret all gathered in Aru village. Our god did not make mistakes. We refuse to believe any of the rumors. King Deshret's death. The all but total annihilation of our civilization. It was all Greater Lord Ruka Devata's doing. 
We saw her as nothing more than a traitor. Who stabbed us in the back in our moment of crisis. <laughs> Just like us humans. Fighting. Feuding. Double-crossing each other to survive in the desert. You were blinded by your prejudice. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this for myself, if I hadn't witnessed his last words with my own eyes, ears, and heart, how could I ever begin to accept this? The truth is so far from what I've always known. Am I really supposed to believe that after all these years, all this time seeking revenge, Suddenly now my enemy is my savior. See, and that's that's uh, that's the reason why these guys fell into the hole together with us, so this guy can actually learn the truth himself. Raman, that's enough. Give it a rest. You're starting to make a fool of yourself. Just accept the truth. <laughs> Dear, tell me, my Aramites and I, what are we even fighting Can't for? Can find something else now, I guess. Rahman takes some time to collect his thoughts while the rest of the party continues. Rahman's reaction is nothing strange. Can you believe a truth I just witnessed would have hey, been? Hey, how you doing? Can't read that fast, I'm sorry. Eh, I'll live. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Same. I should probably go. Can't just stay here forever. How do we get out? What's your next move gonna be? Oh, I know what you're going to ask. I feel deeply ashamed of everything I've done. You'll get everything you're asking for. But please, uh, give me some time. After everything that's happened here today, somehow I need to explain it to the others. It's not gonna be easy. Well, I guess that's for me to deal with. The, uh, this is where our camp's located. Make a note of it. When would be a good time for us to go? Tomorrow. I'll convince everyone that we're all on the same side. And I'll return every last one of your mad, er, sorry, your village keepers. We'll share our other resources with you, too. You seem to finally understand that our true enemy is the Sages. Yes. The gods never gave up on anyone. It's the people responsible for all of this that need to face the consequences of their actions. That must have been rough. But he seems to have figured things out now. <sighs> Rahman's no fool. Being the leader of your own faction in the desert is no easy feat. It's too bad he was held back by his belief in King Deshred. But now that that's changed, I guess we have a few more people on our side. It's a turn for the better, yeah. The outcome, at least, is favorable. We should get going, too. Let's head back, have a proper meal, and a nice... Don't sleep. We'll need all our energy tomorrow. This whole time I've been like asking myself why are we not bringing up the thing of Cousin Ali and Rukadavata being the same person, but then I remembered that I'm the only one who knows her. I'm the only one who, who has seen her. Great. I'm all alone with this. Oh, and, and Paimon, obviously. But at this point, Paimon doesn't even count as a separate person. We're the same. Final! We're leaving! Hmm. Stop yelling. Sorry. Huh. Uh, when the dark sun passes. Okay, so this was not Ermansaw. I guess. I don't know. What's going on in here? Did it look like that? It was bigger and it was whiter and I think the sky was red, definitely. Anything else I can see here? Uh, okay, I'm leaving. Leave domain? Yes. Jesus. Well then, what's next? Where do we need to go? Do we need to wait for the morning? Do we need to go back to the camp? Do we need to get back to Sumeru? Is Act 4 over? Are we starting into the final act of the Archon Quest? So many questions. But not any answer. Because the loading screen takes forever. Go to the Aramite's hideout. Okay, so we did just magically get out of here. Great. How do I get to the Aramite side out though? Uh, it's here. Okay. Okay then. Hmm. I mean, they have to believe this guy. He's their leader, literally, so... If they won't believe me... 
That's where Roman was with us, because if he can't convince them, who can? Oh, Dendroculus? Dendroculus? Is there supposed to be a Dendroculus? Oh, I see it. I feel like I've seen this one before. Why is it still here? Oh, give me. Ah, wrong direction. Thank you. Have I been here before? I uh, don't think so. Either. Raman, we're here. Everything's been arranged. Someone will bring the village keepers back to Aru village shortly. I guess all I can say now is. Thanks for agreeing to help. Did we leave the child down there, or did he, like, manage to escape? I mean... Ah, don't mention it. I think we can both agree you went to hell and back for it. But we share a common cause now. From here on out, we're allies. Where are the perpetrators? I'll bring you to them. Follow me. So these are the people who kidnapped the village keepers. Oh no, it's the scribe! There's no need to yell. No one can help you now. We've been all over the desert trying to find you! <laughs> That's right. Oh? Finally showing up too? General Mahamatra? No, no! Make it quick, please! Swift and painless! Whoa! The moment they set eyes on Sino, they turn pale like they've seen a ghost! You should have known that I would be coming for you. Wait, we were just following orders! You know what I'm talking about, right? There's no way we could have done all this by ourselves! No, not Sino! He's gonna tear us limb from limb! I could do worse. <laughs> oh my god, okay. How? Please have mercy! <laughs> Start talking. Otherwise, I'll have to resort to... other... Methods. So, your superiors have kept you quite busy recently. Why? What are they trying to accomplish? Uh, they, um, wanted to extract canned knowledge. Don't play dumb. You know what I'm really asking. They extract divine canned knowledge. Then what? I, I, I don't, really don't know how to explain it. Well, you better start talking or you'll be sorry! You don't want to make things any more difficult for yourself, do ya? Uh, may I ask my question? Be my guest. Okay. Uh, the sages are trying to create a new god, aren't they? <sighs> I thought you knew. Oh. Huh? I thought I talked to these people about it, what? <laughs> uh huh. That sure didn't sound like a fancy metaphor or anything. You're serious, aren't Did you? Did I only talk talk to Paimon about this? I thought I had the same thing talking about with like Dia and with Sino and with Alhaif and literally everyone here, but okay, apparently I didn't. How did you know? Uh, because I saw it with my own eyes. There's no use hiding it now. Yes, you're right. The Academia is working on an important and potentially world-changing project. They are creating a new god. A god that will belong to them and to the people of Sumeru. Why are they doing it, literally? What is the use of it? It may seem as if Sumeru's academics are thriving, but ever since the death of Greater Lord Rukudavata, scholarly breakthroughs have been few and far between. What if I tell you Rukudavata is actually not that? The withering of Ermin's soul has been getting worse recently. The sages have tried everything they could think of, but nothing's worked. I'm always hearing them say things like, if only Greater Lord Rukudavata was still with us. Continue. And then, someone from the Fatui showed up. They called him the Doctor. He brought a, a, a Gnosis, and said he wanted to borrow the Academia's research facilities. Whose Gnosis did he have? The Doctor was previously expelled from the Academia. At first, the sages looked down at him in disdain. But when he said those words, everyone's expression changed. Why are we all smiling? As if the whole world was like going, going to hell or something. He asked them. Do you wish to create a god? Do you wanna build a snowman? This is what the arrogant ignorance at the extreme end of academia looks like. 
a sacrifice of Baladir. First, the Academia spent a long time constructing a divine vessel, which was based on an exquisite humanoid puppet. I'm saying. After that, they harvested dreams via the Seb Zerus Festival Samsara, maximizing the Akasha's output. With the doctor's help and the Akasha now functioning at maximum efficiency, they were able to use it to extract the power from the Gnosis and convert it into a divine core. Next, they decided that their new god needed to possess divine wisdom. For that to happen, they needed a huge quantity of divine canned knowledge. Watch me go totally crazy when I see Scaramouche again, only because, I don't know, it's giving me nostalgia. He is, he's been here since the beginning, basically. Just like Dainsley, but we see this guy like once in a year. It adds up. But how do you determine whether the knowledge extracted is of divine origin? Call it an educated guess? The Academia has been trying to figure out the exact source of the Scholar's Madness for centuries, but to no avail. Nobody can explain the cause of this phenomenon. Uh, surely you can see what that implies, Scribe Alhatham. If it's knowledge no mortal can comprehend, then it must be something only gods are able to decipher. In other words, it's the source of the God of Wisdom's omniscience and omnipotence. Hmm. But the sages and but the sages and pro won't be great or logical devout. It will be the balladeer. Yeah, we've seen this. You must have noticed by now. The academia doesn't care about who their god is. It's the ability to exercise control over knowledge and wisdom that matters. It is as if they are cursed with a desire for omniscience and omnipotence that burns in their blood. Some organisms demonstrate phototaxis and thus orient their entire lives in respect to sources of light. For the sages, their only source of hope is the existence of a deity who embodies the acme of wisdom. This is but a form of phototaxis. For many scholars, the absence of a god of wisdom means stumbling in the darkness for the duration of their lives. Then what does Lesser Lord Kusanali mean to you? Is she not a true god present in this world? If you already have a new god, why try to create another one? True, that's like so respectless. From the beginning, the Academia has never treated her as a god. I mean disrespectful, sorry. German and English sometimes sound like the same in my brain. When the Academia first discovered Lesser Lord Kusanali, the newborn god of wisdom, the sages hoped that she would be as wise as Greater Lord Ruka Devada. But upon evaluation, they found that at the time she possessed no more intelligence than any ordinary human child. The sages never had a ruder awakening. This forced them to accept that Greater Lord Ruka Devada had indeed passed away. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali's Gnosis had been used to power the Akasha this entire time. Mm. By herself, she has neither an Archon's raw power nor the spectacular insight expected of a god of wisdom. Slowly but surely, people began to forget about her existence. So, this is the path the sages have chosen. Even now, the sort of refuse to acknowledge Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yeah, she's really damned. I feel so sorry for her. I never imagined a god could be subjected to such cruelty. Yeah, true. All right, let's try to keep our cool. If everyone's in a bad mood, then let's change up our scenery. Raman, give me a few men to help us escort the village keepers back to the village. And these two scholars, they're coming too. Sure, as you wish. <sighs> Go back to the village chief's house. That's so far away. Literally, help. So, I'm just gonna teleport directly here because it is literally directly next to the teleport point. Uh, are we gonna see Skaramush in this one still, or is he gonna show up in a fifth part of the story quest? Also, I don't think any other Archon quest had five parts before. I mean, they all felt about like the same length, but this one, I think. Leo is only at like three or four parts, I think. And don't even get me started on Inazuma, I literally can't remember. I think three or four also, but I don't think five. Or maybe I can't remember what all, what, everything that happened in there. The village keepers you found have all been returned to their homes. And each one has a dedicated caregiver to look after them. The two new scholars are being kept under close supervision too. Really great work, everyone. Uh, the atmosphere is so heavy. 
It's hard to not feel weighed down by what we just learned. Despite everything, less a lot Kuzanali has done for her people, the Academia has abandoned her in the sanctuary of Sirostana like a lost cause. Even those she protected have never realized there's such a small childlike god in the world. Hey! Say something! Stop spacing I'm out. saying things, just not to you guys! Come on, is there nothing left to talk about? In that case, let's all get some water and try to think about something else. Or I can go fetch some snacks. Oh, Paimon's so coming with you. Do you have any plans, Traveler? Saving the world, I guess. Again. Gods above, you're not talking about work, are you? I want to share everything I know with all of you. Are we allowed to? I mean, I was going to suggest the same thing, literally, because Dia seems like the one who should, like, be on our side, definitely, because she knows Dunya's art, and, like, I keep forgetting that she hasn't met Kuzanali because she was, like, in the same quest the whole time, but we were the only people who met Kuzanali, so... Uh. Hmm. So you were still withholding some information? Sorry, but I had my reasons. But now I know we're all in this together. In between the conversation, Candace and Paimon bring over snacks and tea. Slumber party. Tia's expression is relaxed as if her mood hasn't been affected by the heavy conversation at all. Sino has a firm and solemn expression on his face. It looks like he's made up his mind about something. The core of his beliefs is motivation to pursue the right cause of action. Alayfam also turns throughout the crowd. He wants to listen too. After that, the whole story comes out. All the experiences, feelings, and secrets are shared freely with everyone. To share everything means to consider everyone as allies. From today on, everyone will fight for the same goal. Even though we lived through all of this firsthand, it still feels super surreal to hear you talk about it again. That's everything we've experienced so far in Sumeru. What a whirlwind of a story. I felt like I was holding my breath the whole time. Well, I was because it was hard to catch up with the text in that short of time, yeah. It seems like there will be more issues to face in the days ahead than I'd anticipated. Hmm. Still, now's a good time to make our next move. Now that Raman's joined us, we'll be an even stronger team. It's time to make a plan. Indeed. These events are a flagrant transgression of the rules in every sense. We cannot allow it to continue. So, everyone, are we on the same page? Crush the sages and rescue our god. That is our ultimate goal. No matter what lies ahead, I will do my utmost. Well, let's brainstorm a little more about what other resources we can draw on. The next time we gather here, we must have a solid plan. Yep, it'll work out for sure. Mm, let's hope so. Uh, and quest line done. King Dashrod and the three Magi quest completed. Leave the village chief's house. Oh, I'm gonna talk to them. Don't rush. This is a big undertaking, and the planning and preparation for what lies ahead will no doubt take some time. Take it slowly. We need to make sure the plan is as effective as possible. <sighs> He's starting to read his book again. Hey, are you even listening? <laughs> Would you like me to lend you something to read? Uh, no, please. No don't. way. Your books aren't quite to Paimon's tastes. I was joking. I know my books are far too difficult for you. And I have no intention of lending them I off. somehow don't like this guy, you know? Everyone and their grandma is simping for him, but I somehow can't get myself to like him. Ugh, you're so annoying! Exactly! <laughs> uh, hi there. You must let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Though I cannot leave Avru Village, I can't help but feel... stirred when I see the looks in your eyes. I've never felt as roused as this when fighting alone in the past. God, I, I just misheard what she said. Oh, Jesus. I suppose this must be the power of camaraderie. I need sleep. <laughs> yeah, I need sleep and I need Jesus. To save me from myself. Oh, can I cook in here? No, I can't. <laughs> Damn it. Also can't take damage. The past few days have been some of the most challenging work I've ever taken on. And none of it will earn me a single Mora. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look on the bright side, Dia. Maybe we'll get a huge reward after this is all If over. we can make it out alive, then that will be our reward, yes. Hmm, you've got a point. Hey, what would you do if you woke up tomorrow with more money than you could ever spend? God, she just... The, the second she said, what would you do if you woke up tomorrow, and my mind just instantly cycled back to when we were stuck in a time loop, and I was like, oh god, not this again. Paimon would buy boatloads of tasty snacks. I would buy another Paimon, which doesn't, like, always run off the food. That's it? 
Um, and maybe some tasty drinks as well? <laughs> How adorable. Well, here's to all our indulgent fantasies. If there's a chance they can come true, I'll give it my best shot. And here's hoping that everything we do from now on will change this world for the better. You can't talk to Uncle Anpu. Oh, there's another guy here. My old pal, what do you think? When we're too old to remember anything, will there be any young people willing to take our places? Of course, don't say things like that. Our village may be small, but we've got quite a lot of decent youngsters here. Never mind the people who came back from working with the Aramites, even Kazim's boys working hard, you know. Ah, oh, true, true, you're right, I must have been overthinking. I'm sure we'll have more reliable successors like Candace in our village. Of course, speaking of Candace, remember when she was a little girl? How'd she go to the wrong house because of her poor eyesight? Yes, yes, that did happen, I believe. <laughs> Between the two of us, I guess you're the one with good memory. Poor eyesight, just because she has heterochromia? Oh man. <sighs> Your memory is far In the past, I never imagined that even the gods could suffer from hardship. If we can find a way to change all of this, will this nation become a better place? I mean, I knew that gods can suffer from hardship because I literally met a god who retired and faked his own death. <coughs> and pretends to be broke. Just for the funsies of it all. Okay, now I'm gonna teleport away from here. Because, I mean, the quest line tells me that I need to... You know, when I leave, then I... <laughs> gonna fly to the guy who's giving me my reputation. Because I wanna know where exactly I need to go to interact with the next... Start of the next quest. Because I don't wanna do this when I'm playing off screen. Because I gotta do my dailies before I record tomorrow or whenever. And also I want to see if I can go to Sumeru City and get my reputation. Because I think maybe I'm getting a couple of things there and then I can finally unlock the bounties and uh, what is the other one called? Reputation? No. Wait until the next day. What happens if I wait until the next day? Oh, through the pre-dawn at night, that's the chapter that I need to finish uh, before I can start the thing. Why did I teleport over here? Uh, I need to find Catherine now. Let's see how well I do know Sumeru City, because I don't know Sumeru City at all. I'm gonna get lost in here. What was I looking for again? Oh, right. The cathedral, I guess. It's not here. Help me. Wait until the next day. It is the next day. Or do you mean the next next day? The next 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 day? Is that what you mean? Hey you! Give me reputation. Is enough? It's not enough! <laughs> Oh, I need like 30. Wait, maybe I can find a very, very short quest. A very, very short quest. I see a quest here. But is it short? Oh, it's above me, isn't it? How much harder do you need to go? It's so confusing to me. <sighs> oh, you. Nilufar. Huh? Oh. Arani, where did you go? Arani? Oh, that's the scholar from Inazuma. I guess. Oh, Puppet remembers the name. The young lady who's always went. Right, she said she left Academia for some materials. She should have been back now. That's a red haired girl, isn't it? I accidentally skipped the text. But the woman there seems really nervous. Let's go ask her about it. If I really did return to the Gideon, might as well stop by and say hello. Uh, greetings about Alrani. Are you the adventurer sent by the Adventure Guild? Did you find Alrani? I know I've been pressing and I'm sorry for that, but she really worries me. Wow, take it easy. We're not from the Adventure Guild, just passing by. And you are? You're not adventurous? I'm sorry. I haven't gotten any news from them. I'm so worried. 
You tell a story of where you found free with Arani. So you are the traveler Arani keeps talking about. I need of our research at the academia, you could tell, right? I feel like I've heard her name before as well. Being that as I am, I now devote most of my energy to teaching students on research. Arani is my student, she's been struggling with her thesis. You're her mentor? Uh, you, you look younger than I was expecting a mentor to look like. Miss Arani said she had to rewrite many of her papers because they were disapproved by our mentor. Ah, uh, this isn't the time for this. What happened to Miss Arani? She went missing. Arani came back all excited from Inazuma with a paper a while ago, which was about the folk culture of Watatsumi Island. She took that very seriously, yeah. I could tell. Her papers were written and of high standard in every respect. But she submitted the paper too late. I asked her to send me the first draft in advance, but I never heard back. By the time she came back with the full version of her paper, someone had submitted one with exactly the same topic, which had already passed the preliminary review. I tried in every way to get her to pass the review, but she still didn't make it. Why is that? Miss already started framing ideas for her papers long ago. How come it took so long? Wait, Inazuma? The Sako Sakoku decree. Oh no! I've no idea how to break the news to her. I was going to think of a gentle way to let her know. Then I mowed her mouth out of nowhere to spill it all to her. Then she went missing. I turned every stone in the academia and she was nowhere to be found. So I went to the adventures guild and put out a commission. They found nothing but Arani's notebook at her place and there was no sign of her. The adventurers should still be searching for everywhere. I don't know what to do. Uh, where is it? Well, help look for Miss Arani. Really? I can't thank you enough. I'll mark the location of the notebook on the map for you. Oh, and your payment. I'll ask Arani for that. Thank you very much. I'll be waiting here for news for the Adventures Guild. Please be safe, Arani. Uh, look for Arani. I mean, that sounds like a very short quest, right? What? She's here? But if I go there and I leave, I will really trigger the main story. I'm... I, I am confused. I don't know. I'm gonna teleport to Mondstadt. <laughs> so this time, this way, I know that I won't accidentally teleport and start into the game and they will show me like some cutscenes just because I waited for the next morning. Because I am in fact having a chill time at Windrise and no one can stop me. Nothing can stop me. Okay, so guys, I would say I'm gonna end it here for this episode of Genshin Impact. Oh wait, did I want to look at something here? Uh, Jesus, I'm running out of things here. God, the soundtrack is scary as hell. Uh, we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. See you in the next episode, until then, Shazam, bye-bye, good night. soon.